Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, y'all hey, know how to do some commentary before I get into this video, right? So let me get into it. So we know we've been talking about Peach and her eviction and stuff like that. And people were saying it was because of her uh, HOA violations or whatever like that. But she told off on herself. She always talked too much. She always tell off on herself. She always being cocky. And, you know, it's nothing wrong with being confident in yourself. It's a difference between being confident and being cocky and just talking too much and telling off on yourself. A lot of these content creators do that. They talk too much, tell off on themselves because they run their mouth too much, right? So that's what's going on with um, with Peach. So she was on TikTok, right? And she was just going on blabbing at the mouth talking about she got several evictions, out of her own mouth. I'm going to show y'all the clip, but I got to do some commentary, right? So it's like she doesn't, it, it, it's not, a, you know, it's, I understand stuff happened to people, but it is it it shouldn't happen to her because she do this on purpose. She do this stuff, I ain't going to say all her eviction was on purpose, but lately the ones that she's been getting have been on purpose because she don't want to pay the people because you see how fast she got a new place or did she get a, she said she showed a new place so she must have got a new place so it's, it seemed like she saved that money to get her a new place but it, she has the money to pay the people but she doesn't want to pay the people then don't have an explanation as why she stopped paying the people I guess because the people was complaining on her the, H, the HOA and she just wouldn't want to pay her rent no more I don't really know what, what, what was the case about it but she told off of herself by saying that she didn't want to pay it. She said she didn't want to pay it. She didn't want to pay anymore. That's why she said no. It didn't have anything to do with HOH violations or whatever. That probably was part of it, but she ain't gonna say that. But she said it was because she just didn't pay. And she said she got several of them, and she don't care. And a lot of people, um, you know, was you know, a lot of people were saying stuff like that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people was agreeing with her. Like, I like you, Peach. You know, on TikTok they were like, I like you, Peach. You get around the system. You know how to work the system. You know how to do this and do that, which is crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? People are these young folks on TikTok are watching her, looking up to her, and think this stuff is okay. I know people have hardships, but nobody do never. Nobody don't want no eviction on their on their record if they can help it. I know I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? So why would you send up say I have several of them, and, and and she content with that? She's happy with that. She doesn't care. She doesn't see anything wrong with having. Um, she doesn't see anything wrong with having this on her thing because she didn't say she had several. You know, she said she got several of them, and she does and she doesn't care. You know, but y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. So this tells you everything you need to know out of her own mouth. Okay, it ain't out of my mouth, it's out of her own mouth. It's a clip of her saying that she doesn't care and she did it and she knew she did it and it's an eviction. It wasn't nothing to do with HOA, H, um, the HOA people. Um, our people complaining. and she said it was because of she didn't pay, basically, all in a nutshell. But y'all let me know how y'all, um, what y'all think of this. And, um, yeah, let me know down in the comments below, and I uh, yeah, share the video out. But y'all had to do commentary order for the, you know, the guidelines on YouTube. I had to do my commentary, and then do the video. You know, can't just do the, can't just copy nobody video and not have commentary on it. But anyway, on that note, see y'all in the next one, and um, watch it all the way through. Bye. Why the HOA evicted me? The HOA did not evict me, baby. I got evicted for not paying my rent. I didn't pay my rent. Y'all don't have to make up stories. I could tell you myself. I got evicted for not paying my rent. On the day that I moved out, I told them I moved out. The bitches went and filed an eviction on me on the same day that I moved out. I will be going to court this week and going ahead and submitting the fact that I had already moved out and I had already informed them that. And the three-day notice that they actually gave me was over to the 12th and they went and filed an eviction on me on the 10th. I'm going to do a whole... I'll take y'all with me to the courthouse. Y'all can look me up. I don't have many evictions. That shit don't scare me. If I wanted to stay in the house, even with a eviction let me tell you something i'm gonna do a whole video if you get hit with an eviction first they gotta give you a three-day notice telling you okay you gotta pay your rent by this day or we're going to take legal proceedings or you need to move out that's a three-day notice and y'all know i was a realtor so i'm fully familiar with this and i worked in apartments luxury as well as low-income housing i don't did it all baby when i said i had 36 jobs by age 25 i don't did it all so anyways 
let's say you get hit with an eviction. The process will first be a three-day notice. After you get a three-day notice, you can call them, make payment arrangements. They might still want to evict you, whatever they want to do. When they go to court and file an eviction, they're going to file it. It's going to take a day or two days for the eviction to come to your house. When an eviction comes to your house, you have five days to respond. I can go drop a dollar in a depository and write a letter, and I could drag this shit out for six months if I want to. Three, I, know how to I know how to do the whole process if I want to. I used to teach people how to do it on Facebook to buy yourself some extra time. Also, let's say they do file an eviction, but you don't want to move. You want to stay. Well, you go down there, you respond, you put all the rent money in the depository if you got the rent money obviously i got it i just didn't want to pay it but if even if i had to come up with the money bitch i just made thirteen thousand dollars the other day i could go pay my rent if i wanted to pay the rent um you'll go ahead and put that money into the depository in order for them to get the depository money they have to go ahead and agree with the legal fees and all that shit you're gonna pay that they're gonna get the money out of the depository the eviction case is gonna be closed i don't have closed eviction cases where i stayed in the home after that what's gonna happen is you just got to pay your rent on time again normally after a situation like that they're more lenient right now it's taking people six months to get out of their house four months you could even go get a covid letter and go submit it to the judge and stay in your fucking house for a whole year i know how to work the system if i wanted to y'all are dumb i'm not all right somebody gonna say pete you call them dumb i sure did y'all are dumb i'm not this is part though